Good morning, YouTube. Knucklehead1156 here with Best Mech. Um, wanted to share something with you this morning. Just came out of the mail. Fresh off the boat from Singapore. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Singapore. Hobby King. Hardware, I believe. Yes. This should be all of the hardware that I'm going to use on my ZMR250 build. What do we got? We got, looks like anodized purple aluminum countersunk washers and 3x10 countersunk titanium screws. I also got some different, I got socket head and button head titanium screws in here. They were having a sale, so I was like, I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of them. So. Titanium, will it be better or worse than steel? I don't know, I don't think it makes all that much a difference as a screw, but I think it looks cooler and it sounds better to be able to say, hey, I have titanium hardware in here. So, it's more about the flash than the performance. Uh, we got <clears throat> black wire rack. Uh, I may or may not use this, but this is always handy to have in your toolbox, so I ordered some more. We have purple. 8mm and 3mm diameter wire mesh guard. Uh, I love wire mesh guard. Uh, I, I'm amazed that more people don't use it. It's great for RC cars or airplanes or helicopters or multi-rotors. Anything that you want to have your wire look nice and clean and, uh, and durable. This silicone wire is really, uh, it's easy to tear the insulation off because it's just straight silicone. So this stuff helps protect that. We got some green three millimeter wire mesh guard, so that's gonna give some contrast in the wiring. I got green zip ties, should be a hundred of them in there uh, for keeping my wiring nice and tidy or for fastening whatever else down to the frame. And last but not least, boring old 24 and 16 gauge silicone wire, all in black. So this is what we're gonna be using for the electronics on that build. So there it is, empty box. Quick video. There it is, that's the hardware. Uh, I'm gonna be making another video of a dry assembly uh, of the ZMR250, meaning that I'm going to assemble it with the new hardware, see how everything fits, kinda of get an idea of how I wanna mount all my electronics in that frame. Uh, I'll be posting that later on this week. Uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.